Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you again. My name is Dustin Cormier, and this is How to Rock a Campfire. It's been a little while since I've been able to come on here and do the guitar thing. I've been in school for astrology for about four years, and this is one moment in my schooling where I'm getting a break. Uh, and so I get to focus on my original love, which is guitar. I really bounce back between the two. And you're going to see a few more episodes of How to Rock a Campfire coming out. So, this is a song by the Beatles. It's called Things We Said Today. It's brilliant songwriting in this song. Uh, you can see some of the use of chords in weird ways is really exceptional. Really, even on the chorus part where they have the A, they go to the A major chord. And they find a way to come from the A major key to sink into the B flat and then bring it back into A minor. A minor being the relative minor of the C. And those are two very different key signatures, so it's a cool blend that they did here. Uh, it's an easy enough song, ultimately, though. You just really got to be able to get the rhythm that's going on. Now, the most Im the coolest part of the song, too, is the C ninth chord that happens in the little bridge part. So, when I'm lonely, wishing you weren't so far away. Uh, <clears throat> it's called uh, well, basically, you know, we're, we're gonna get there. We're, we're basically there because, you know, the starting of it is just the rhythm. Now, you'll notice that every now and then, uh, two things. Number one, I should say, is what the Beatles do is they like to go. Somebody in the jam could be like, if you're jam with a bunch of people, it's nice to have someone go. You can tell that they're kind of emphasizing, really letting that A minor ring, even when everyone else is going to the E minor, but not, not really, not so much that it's going to bleed completely, but just to hear the. so it's like kind of emphasized. Someone should do it at the jam anyway. Uh, the other thing is that you'll often see me going A minor and then I accent because I'm a bass player mainly, right? So uh, I like to add in those little things as you're playing. And then you kind of accent the E and then accent the third fret of the E, which is the G note, and then come back to the A minor. So those two chords are A minor and E minor. There's a really cool harmony part on here that they do, where basically, if you're you know fishing for vocal harmonies here, basically Paul McCartney is on the high going, Someday when I'm lonely, wishing you weren't so far away. It's basically going E, 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 D, D, C, 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 A, C, D. And John Lennon is the one going from the C to the B flat, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So they're basically going. Wishing you weren't so far away. Basically, wishing you weren't so far away. I think that's what John Lennon's doing. Someday when I'm dreaming. That's vocally uh, what they're doing there. Feel free to rewind it back just to get that down because it's a killer part of the song if you can, if you can do it with someone else. Uh, ultimately, the chord that's being played here is a C ninth. And there's an interesting chord theory going on there. Basically, we've heard of the C add ninth. And that's basically where you put your pinky 
on the D note, which is the third fret of the B string. And it gives it a very nice high major chimey sound. Uh, and the seventh is not what we call the dominant seventh. In fact, in the C major ninth, there is no seventh. That's what distinguishes a C major ninth, is that you're, it's implied uh, a C add ninth, actually. That's what I should be calling it, because you're adding the ninth without adding a seventh. C major ninth would actually be something like this. So sorry for the confusion there. Uh, because the major ninth implies that you have the ninth as well as the major seventh. That's the major ninth chord. This is just how it works. Uh, just like how a C seventh is all, it, it hits the B flat. We call it a C seventh. Really, it's a C uh, dominant seventh is what we call it because we're using the minor seventh note instead of the major seventh note. The major seventh uses the B note. The C seventh, as we know, just uses the actual B flat, which is the minor seventh of the scale of C. The C ninth chord has the seventh and the ninth. So, you know, just remember that whenever you're seeing chords, when you see a C nine, you have to add the seventh. When you see a C major ninth, you're adding the seventh. The you're adding the major seventh and the ninth. Something to remember. It's just random chord theory, I guess. Someday when I'm dreaming, wishing you weren't so far away. That's our chords F to the B flat, and then back to the A minor. The things we said to. So then it goes into this little chorus part, which is also pretty simple, and he does also a little. I'm just the lucky kind. I love to hear you say that love is love. And we may be blind. B7 to the B flat. Back to the A minor. And you'll notice that like on this part I have an emphasis on the chorus that shrinks down when you go back to the verse. That's how you play with what I like to call color. We're not just Sunday when I'm dreaming. You know, like what makes a performance really snap is dynamics and playing with color, as I like to call it. So uh, a little bit heavier and wider on the chorus and then narrow the gate and shrink it down on the verse. Me, I'm just the lucky I love to hear you say that love is good Though we may be blind Love is here to stay And that's enough to make you mine Girl, be the only one Love me all the time Girl, we'll go on and on Right in the bridge again Someday Today. I'm just the so then it goes into the chorus again. So basically after another verse and then another bridge, we go right into the chorus again. Maybe I'm just the lucky kind, love to hear you say that love is love. Though we may be blind, love is here to stay and that's enough. One last bridge. Someday when we're dreaming, deep in love, not a lot to say, then we will remember the things we said to you. You could end it like that, or you could do 
more solo stuff with whoever feels like doing it with you. Something to consider and think about. Been doing more jamming on my dang old keyboard with astrology theory than I have been with playing my guitar. I've actually, I'm playing my bass in my band a lot. And you know, playing bass, it just doesn't dig into your fingers like an acoustic does. It kind of feels nice. I mean, it actually sucks worse than anything ever, but it, it I, it's kind of nice. It brings me back to playing acoustic guitar. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's so good that it sucks so bad. <laughs> At least we tell ourselves that. <laughs> okay, uh, so thanks for watching, folks. Now I'm going to play the whole thing through for you so you can see it coming through. This is Things We Said Today by The Beatles. Tonic. Well, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, that was Things We Said Today by the Beatles. Uh, I pretty much revved that up to where it needs to be. Check me out. I'm Dustin Cormier for How to Rock a Campfire. I'm back and I'm swinging. Uh, you're going to hear me at least doing a new episode once every two weeks is what I'm shooting for. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.